the, uh, the cartoon, but uh, you've been also following the story as well. But who do you decipher this to be? Um, uh, Dr. Mustafa made me uh, mention the eyes, and I think that is uh, quite an interesting angle to look at this. Uh, and, uh, they are big eyes. Yeah, he, the big eyes, and his speculation about Mudavadi. But when I saw the, the first thing I saw, of course, with the chameleon and the shifting of stands from one color to another. And this, of course, uh, I know uh, my friend Hashi uh, doesn't like me talking about this thing. But it reminded me of his good friend, uh, Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. um, I've been saying for quite some time now how Kalonzo has always shifted from one stand to another. And it's not even really surprising now, especially uh, the way in which he has been going about uh, pursuing this, uh, this position and the way in which he has mobilized his allies, including our dear friend uh, Hashi here, uh, to argue for his case. It's sort of like um, putting a gun on Ryla and saying that if you don't put me, then my votes could potentially go to Rutu or I may decamp to Rutu and then you will be forced to a runoff and all these kind of things. And I think this is a wrong way to, to, to seek the vice presidency. It should be about how one will support the agenda of the president. That is the first thing, is the agenda. When it comes to qualification, of course, all of these people are highly qualified. But more importantly, is also the complement to the character of the president himself. Uh, of course, in the past, Raila has chosen Colonzo as his uh, running mate, uh, and he may very well do so again. Uh, but I think also this is something that he should reflect very heavily on because we have talked about how the Kenyan politics is personalized and divided into this camp and is very shallow when it comes to uh, ideologies and, and policy platform. Uh, so I think uh, the, the Raila here should think about what would be best for him and his presidency, not just simply think about the mathematics of the vote, because you may very well end up, as exactly mentioned by Dr. Mustafa, at the situation that we are seeing now between Uhuru and Rutu. And this was because of mathematics of vote. Uh, so there has to be more than that. It can't just be, I claim this, I control this region. Uh, Kenyan people, at the end of the day, have to make a choice that, uh, that, that matters. And I think the difference here between Raila and, and Rutu is very clear. Uh, so if politicians uh, do not prioritize the agenda, uh, more than their own particular interest, then that is quite unfortunate. There are others, I, like Mustafa said, I'd like to see more younger people vying for this position. And I also like to see women. Uh, Kenya is a great country, is the example of democracy in our region. Where are women in uh, the executive positions uh, at the top leadership of the government? So perhaps it's about time uh, that Kenya should have also a woman, a woman who is a, a vice president. Indeed, indeed. Right. Hamid Ash, you wanted to respond? Yes. I'm an ally 